Hello everybody, I'm Olivia and welcome to Pages and Journeys. Hello everyone, so today we are going to be doing a bookshelf reorganisation. It is Friday evening, I've just finished work and eaten dinner and oh, I just want to get my books in order. My apartment feels a mess because like I have books all over my coffee table, my shelves don't really feel organised, there's not a ton of space so I'll give you a quick overview now of what it looks like and then we are going to get to work on figuring out the organisation of them. I have no idea how I want this to be so it's going to be a lot of playing around. I know it's not going to be the most aesthetically pleasing but hopefully it looks a bit better by the end of this and all my books fit and they all have a home so we will see. I just need this done. excited to do this. I know people have asked me for a bookshelf tour but I will be moving come like May this year and this is what my setup is right now but I'm probably going to change that coming up so oh I'm so excited let's get going. Okay to give you a very quick overview this is my newest bookcase I love it so much so the bookcase I want to get eventually is like a five shelf like one two three and like it's got six layers each or something but it looks like five shelves don't ask me how it works it's just what it looks like but this is my current shelf and I love the dark wood because it matches my coffee table but on here right now I have a lot of like fantasy romance, dark romance, sports romance, indie romances, a lot of my favourites so you've got like Dreamland Billionaires, Flock series, the Ravenhood trilogy, that's it, um, Off Campus, Briar You, Twisted, down here you have like obviously Voyeur and um, there we go, Voyeur and Teacher and Entangled and Bound and Runix books and then on the bottom there you've just got some random books and you can already see that they're stacked on top of each other. I've just shown you the coffee table with all of the books that need to find a new home. Then we have my, uh, you can see me on the TV, hi, but this is my nine cube thing from Target and it's currently a really eclectic mix. You've got some YA adult fantasy on the top here then you've got a bit more fancy across the middle and on the bottom here is my murder mystery thrillers collection then we have my book cart where I typically put like my bookmarks my annotating supplies are here then my TBR for the month sometimes I put library books down there but right now it's just a mix of like my bookish postcards some like other little trinkets and then on the bottom is candles because I like to have a candle when I'm reading and then we come to my spinning bookshelf, which is very sentimental because my parents got it for me uh, for my 21st birthday and I was so, so excited to even have a bookcase. So I love this one and I really kind of want to use it to display my contemporary romances or possibly do favourites. I haven't quite decided, but you've got like Lisa and Love and Rachel and Solomon every summer after in the Tessa Bailey duology. Tessa Bailey? Tessa Bailey. <laughs> Jeez, words. Some like pink standalone-ish books my uh, bromance book club series, some more blue books, and then my holiday romances are down there. But this doesn't spin at the minute because it's unbalanced, so I'm going to try and make it balanced today. But some random books, one of my favourites, and then just some, f well that needs to get off my shelf as soon as possible, but these are um, some literary fiction books, there we go. My Taylor Jenkins Reid set, some pink contemporary romances this is one of my favorite YA contemporary books definitely recommend that one. Oh, knock something on the tv stand then a couple of random um contemporaries and then some more blue contemporaries down here and then we have my unhauled books that need to go pile actually for reference my pango books is linked in the description below and this is where I sell all of my books. I'm pretty reasonable on the price of them and they should be out to you pretty quickly. So if you're interested, there's like 50 books here that I need to get rid of and haven't yet. And then finally, we have some more uh, literary fiction. The Gunkle is one of my favourites. I really loved that one. And then the Love and Gelato series plus my favourite Half Night Stand. My this is my Emily Henry collection. I hate how some bleach people with me on vacation has become, but I've always faced that book out because I've loved it so much. And then down here we have some contemporary favourites, uh, the Brown Sister series and my Abby Jimenez collection. So yeah, that's what we're starting out with. Hopefully I can figure out a way to set this up so I can like film myself putting the books away. But this is the current setup. I really need to get a proper tripod. But you'll clip to my wardrobe and then this is like where I'll put you. So enjoy. <laughs> Okay, here 
here is an update. I, this is where we're at. I'm not completely happy with it, but the top shelf is like white books and my two good series I like. Well, Off Campus is like an all time fave. I would do anything to reread this series again for like the first time. Then I put like my dual toned kind of colourful spines together here and I really like how this shelf has turned out. Very, very happy with it. There used to be some more uh, Magnolia Park Universe books just to, you know, fill this one out. That would be great. Thanks, Jessa. And then down here, again, not super happy with this shelf yet, but it's got a lot of my favourites on it and I figured it would be a good background to film with. Plus, I love the night and its moon. I felt like it kind of tied that white shelf down the like set as a whole. Again, like I said, I'm not the most aesthetically pleasing at doing these things, so judge all you want. And then on this shelf, we have Runix and some of my fantasy romance slash like other spines that look good next to Neon Gods. And then finally, on this very jam-packed shelf, it's just some random books I had left over. Not all of this actually fits. Like, I've still got all of this on my table still, so I'm going to have to do some jigging with that one and the contemporary spinning shelf to figure out where everything's going to go, but I am quite excited for it. So let's get going. I've now just done the entirety of the spinning bookcase. I realized when I was doing the nine cubes is that my contemporary romances probably suit that better than my YA and adult fantasy. I just felt like it was too much. So I've left my thrillers and murder mysteries on that bottom three, but the top six are all going to be contemporary romances. And this seems to have filled out the space just as well. So hopefully it works out, but I'll show you. So this is what it looks like now. You've got Kingdom of the Wicked trilogy on the top. You've got the Chloe Gong, and then just a couple that looked really good with these. So I put those there. Then Babel and the Invisible, Rise, Invisible Life of Addie LaRue, some Schwab, some Cozy Fancy, and I left my holiday romances down there. I don't think it's hurting anyone to leave them there. And then on this side, you've got uh, Assassin's Apprentice or the Farseer trilogy. I can't remember the name of it. Then you've got uh, from Blood and Ash, some more YA fantasy, some more YA fantasy, and then my Sergei Mass collection. I'm just not the biggest Akatar fan, so I've like enjoyed them, read them, they're okay, but they're going there. Then we have the Poppy War trilogy, some green books. I do love this combination of One Woman with Dragons and Jade City. Nothing, some more Schwab, and her Majesty's Royal Coven, which I'm so excited to read. Okay, so my phone died halfway through filming that uh, time lapse, so I've charged it up now, but I did finish all of my reorganisation and I'm kind of happy with it. Uh, definitely need the book buying ban because I'm running out of space already. Well, not running out of space, let me rephrase that. I have the space for more books, but I'm not good enough at reorganising them to make them all fit, if that makes sense. So I'll show you what I mean. But again, Pango's link down below. I've unhauled a couple while I'm doing this. So if you have books that you're looking for, definitely go check out my Pango. Okay, so we'll do one quick overview of everything. So like I said, fantasy, you've just seen it, is all of this. So I didn't change anything. And then this is still the same. And then this one. I did put my literary fiction here. They didn't quite fit on my nine cube, but I don't think it looks half bad. Obviously my annotating tools, bookmarks, bookish candles and things. I, again, like I said, I've strapped my February TBR, so that's moved. But this is now my nine cube. So this entire row stayed the same. I didn't really want to move anything. I did find space here for Madam, and then the rest is the exact same. This looks a bit crazy cramped, but I'm really happy because I used to have this all over nine, these nine panels, and I'm so glad I don't have that anymore. I think it looks a lot better and a lot more cohesive. I don't really love where Malibu Rising is, but it kind of matches the height of Go Away I'm Reading, so I'm not too mad at it. 
Again, ridiculous stack of blue books there. I'm really nervous to read husband material, but hopefully I'll enjoy it. I've heard terrible things. But yeah, this is kind of some of my favourites. I put The Gun Call with the rest of my contemporary favourites just because I love that book so much. And then here is the final rejig of my favourite bookshelf. So I've had to throw a couple extras. This is not my favourite at all. I'm really not happy with how this shelf looks, but it's the best I can do with what I've got. <laughs> and then this one's my favourite. I did add in the Simple Wild series here for now. Uh, there's actually no more room on this shelf. If I even try to move a book, they don't move because they're so squished, but they do look really good. I think this is my favourite. Like if you took away that, my favourite easily, but I can't take away that. And like the pink of Ruth's rival and then it would look great but I can't put the books anywhere else so that's where they go. Then we have this shelf uh it's just got some you know dark romances some fun romances this cover was just too pretty not to face out. Then there's Charlie the cockapoo if you didn't know my family dog is blue and he is a cocker spaniel mixed with a poodle a cockapoo so I have a ton of those like a ton of these Charlie the cockapoo things all around my apartment because of blue. And then yeah, all of these are like retellings or fancy romances and then my Runex collection and then finally just some random books on the bottom. And with that, I'm going to wrap up this video. If you guys have seen any of your favourites on my shelves tonight or ones that you think I should read soon, please let me know down in the comments below. If you have any suggestions for change ups I should do with my shelves, let me know. And in the description box, you can find all of my other social media platforms. I'd love to see you over on my Instagram at some point, but I will see you very soon for another bookish adventure. Bye guys.